So here's where the workshop is. And if we go around, oh look, you can see I've felted the roof. Finally got around to putting new felt on there. What I'm gonna do is the shed's gonna move up to this area there. Okay, we've got all the boards off the wall. And so now I'm just trying to figure out how the roof, I can't remember because it was that long ago when I put it up, got to figure out how the roof is uh, attached, where, whereabouts it's screwed on. show you where I'm at. I've taken all the uh, boards apart now. So I'm just moving them out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day. It's nearly six o'clock. Got a lot done. And uh, all I've got to do now is move this base. Then what I'm gonna do is set all the blocks in the same position that they are here over at the new location, level them all up, and then uh, put this base back down. And then it's a case of rebuilding the shed, fixing all the bad stuff. So like I say, that's it for today. I'll see you in a while. It's the next day. Um, I set all the blocks out, so there's blocks like that, sort of thing, underneath this. So yeah, this is all nice and level now. So I'm going to go around and do all along the bottom edges, along there before the sides fit on. This is where we've got to today. So here it is. I'm gonna strip off all this bubble wrap because like I said, I think that made the problem worse and then it'll be able to breathe. So now it's on to the bad bit. So here's the roof panels. And as you can see, some of them are really badly rotted. Okay, I'm going through the panels and I'm ripping off the rotten boards and I'm putting the feather edge onto in its place. There we go, one piece, just three more to go. on with felt in the roof this one's a bit awkward because it's bigger than uh, the ones that you can do with three strips because if they're smaller you can do 
a strip along each side at the bottom and then just have the uh, one in the middle going over the apex joining over the top of the other two because this is eight foot wide I'm going to have to do it in four strips so I've got it all fixed on as you can see there's two joins on that side because of it needing four sheets instead of three and put the edging on there we go job done so uh, yep that's all finished hope you like the video uh, next time I'll be back in the workshop see you next time take care